moving on along to our next topic. I guess that's okay, moving on along. I'll keep using that. Uh, our next topic here is order by. So as the subtitle tells you, it's how we can sort our results, which is something that we'll want to do. Hopefully you see why that's useful when you're trying to understand things. Uh, it's good to be able to sort your data. So with our books, for instance, right now we're getting them all in the order that they were inserted in. And maybe we want to do things like find the best selling books or the worst selling books or find the most active users on our website or the least active users or something similar. Find the most upvoted posts or the, the post that has the most comments on our blog or whatever we're working with. It's important to be able to sort things. And again, the way we do that is by using order by. So let's take a look at an example. Here's a, a query that's going to select all the author last names from books. So up until this point, nothing is new. Select author last name from book or books. But after that, we add on this little thing, order space by. That's something that trips me up, by the way, that there is a space. Sometimes it feels like it should be one word or there should be an underscore, but there's a space. Order space by. And then what do we want to order it by? By the last name. So let me show you. If we go here, we just do a select author L name from books. This should be review. What we get, we get them in the order they were inserted. So that's not alphabetical at all. So if we want to do alphabetical, select author L name from books, order by, and then we have to say author L name, just like that. And as you can see now, we have Carver up top, all the way down to Steinbeck. And you should notice it is sorted by default in ascending order. So from C or A technically down to Z. And it's actually alphanumeric as well. So if we do titles, for instance, let's just do select title from books. We've got a title that has an A at the beginning, but we also have 10% happier. So if we do this, select title from books, order by title, you'll see we get the 10% happier first before the A's and all the way down to W. So as I mentioned, it is ascending by default. So if you don't specify an order, it just assumes you want ascending. But of course we can change that, as my slide says, by just providing one thing at the end. So everything up until this point is the same. Select author L name from books, order by author L name, space, D-E-S-C. And in my opinion, this is also something that's kind of confusing because it's D-E-S-C, but then the abbreviation for ascending is A-S-C, which is only three letters versus four, but that's just my opinion. So let's try it now. If we recall what we had, select author L name from books, order by author L name. There we go. This is the original in default ascending order, but if we add D-E-S-C, you can see it's reversed. Now it goes from Steinbeck down to Carver. Or if we do the same thing with our title, and we just add on D-E-S-C, it now goes from white noise down to 10% happier. And of course, order by will also work with numbers, so it's pretty common that we want to sort things numerically whether it's you know the number of orders or the sort the highest priced items, or like I said earlier, sort the blog posts by whichever have the most comments, most to least, or something like that. Those are numeric values. So to do that, it's the exact same syntax. All that we change is what we're ordering by. So in this case, release year, which is an, an <clears throat> So in this case, release year, which is an integer, Select release year from books, order by release year. So let's try it out. Let's do a select release year from books without the order by. And they're in all sorts of crazy order. I think our lowest one is 1945 all the way up to 2017, which is that Lincoln and the Bardo book. Definitely recommend it still. Uh, so if we recall that line and just add on order by release year, there we go. And by default, it's also ascending 1945 up to 2017. We could reverse it with DESC, just like that. And just to prove to you, you can do this. You can be explicit with ASC. 
ascending and get the same order if you left it off. And not to harp on this too much, but I just, I don't like that this is four letters versus three letters. It's just, it should be consistent. Um, so if we leave it off though, we get the same results. Okay, so that's the basics of order by. Another thing I'd like to highlight here is that we've been doing things like select released year, order by released year, where it's matched. What we're selecting is matching how we're ordering it. You don't have to do that. So let's say we wanted to get, um, let's say we want title and year released year, that is, and pages, why not? And I want all three of those from books, order by, and we'll do released year. So I can do that, and it's going to order them by the release year, but it still gives me all the data. So it's not like, you know, it has to match. Or I could even leave release year out of this entirely. I don't have to select it, but I can still order by. So I could select title and pages and order by the release year. You can see the first one we get is Cannery Row. And the first one we got here is Cannery Row from 1945. And the last one was Lincoln and the Bardo, 2017. Last one is Lincoln and the Bardo, 2017, even though we don't have the year actually printing out. So that's all I want to show there, that you don't have to be ordering by something that you're selecting, or that it doesn't have to be the only thing that you're selecting. So here's another little quirk of order by. If you take a look at this query, select title, author F name, author L name, and I put this on two lines here, uh, not because it's correct to do that, but just so that it's easier to read for you. So select title, author F name, and author L name from books, order by two. What do you think the two refers to? Well, in this case, it's actually just a shortcut. So we don't have to rewrite author F name. So if we're selecting title, author F name, and author L name, this will be one, this is two, and this is three. And it's a shortcut for me to say order by two author F name. So let's copy it over, try running it. And you can see the results we get back. They're not sorted alphabetically here, even though it sort of looks like it because we have 10% happier and then a hologram for the king, 10 and then A, but it's not, the rest of the way is not. Uh, but you can see over here, we've got Dan first, and then David, Dave, Data, Don, Frieda, blah, 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 down to Raymond. And if we wanted to sort instead by last name, we just change it to three, again, because author L name is the third thing that we're selecting. And now we go from Carver down to Steinbeck. And likewise, we can change it to one to sort by title. And we could also switch it over to descending, and that works. And if we did switch the order here, just to show the order does matter, so if I do author L name, comma title. If I want to sort by title, I would need to do two now. And now they're sorted by title. Okay, so there's one last thing, and I made a slide to remind myself about it, which is this here. So what we can actually do is sort by or order by two different columns which seems like something that you wouldn't really do that often, and truth be told, it's not, but I just want you to know that you can. So to show you what I'm talking about, let me first do a select, and I'll make a new file for this one as well, just because we're gonna have a little bit of code. Um, let's do new file. I'll just call it order underscore by dot SQL. Okay, and if we do a select author F name comma author L name from books, just like that. Save it, and we need to do our source order by dot SQL, just like that. And I forgot the directory refining selections slash. Okay, so when I do that, we get first and last names so are not sorted. So now if I do an order by author last name. and I redo it. Everything looks good. We have our authors sorted alphabetically, Carver, Gaiman, Harris, but then that's where we run into our problem, which is Harris. And it's not really a problem, but if we wanted our authors sorted alphabetically, 
technically when there's two authors that have the same first, or the same last name and we want the entire author name to be sorted alphabetically well then we need to go to the first name and in this case Frida Harris is in front of Dan Harris even though D comes before F so we want Dan to come before Frida and that's where this comes in handy we can sort after we sort by last name then sort by first name so it's not going to redo everything it's going to keep uh, basically the, the initial sort and then sort first name if there's any conflicts so we can just add that in as a comma author f name and save now if you just focus here so we have frida harris and then dan harris and if i source that and run it you can see it just switched so everything else is the same Carver first, Steinbeck last, but now Dan Harris comes before Frida Harris. All right, so that's actually it to order by. I saw a lot there. It's a little bit dense. I apologize. Uh, but order by is useful. Like I said, you'll be sorting lots of things, and it helps you understand your data, especially when we're talking about sales data or site-specific uh, you know, site data. There's a lot of insights that you can get just by putting it in an order.